Welcome back, everyone. It's Savage Sasquatch, and we are playing The Surge on Xbox One. All right, so we're in that area where we're overlooking the last hallway before the boss. It's right down there. And uh, anyway, before we jump down, I just want to kind of highlight this boss a little bit. I've taken a few stabs at him now. Um, you know, haven't had any, like, super, super close attempts, but I've kind of got the general idea of what we need to do. Like, while he seems pretty difficult, he's not... Once you know the fight, he's not nearly as difficult if you can practice um, patience. If you don't try to... If, if, if you can avoid being greedy. Alright, let's just kill this guy. Oh, gosh. Alright, or we can run towards the boss. We'll explain a little more as we go along, then. Oh, we're gonna go down. So, you wanna... Detected. You wanna dive in and then dive out. The big... You gotta dodge the big attacks, like that. Hold on, my volume is way too loud on this. Alright, so you gotta dodge the big attacks. Please remain stationary. And then you gotta get out really quickly so he doesn't hit you with one of his many attacks. This should... Yeah. Alright, two hits should knock that off. So we've knocked off a leg. And we need to dodge that. Really important. Alright, dive in, get out. Dive in, get out. Dive in. Oh, well, we're not too bad off. Alright, dive in. Alright, it's down. One, two. There we go. Another leg is off. So we're doing good. Oh, let's get out of there before he... We. You gain a ton of energy when you uh, knock a leg off. So it's really good for self-repairing. All right. I cannot find a leg. Like, there we go. So every time you knock a leg off, it's pretty good for... Uh... All right, here we go. All right, so now we can... Whew! That slow-mo thing scared me a little bit. So yeah, we get two heals off, we're back to full health, and we still got eight. So this guy is, at this point, a little scary. You gotta run away from that. That's as bad as it looks. Now you gotta hit that thing, that little dongle underneath. He's really good at dodging, like when, if he doesn't want you to get in there... Oh man, I was trying to dodge that, and still... You get a hit in, and get out of there. Oh gosh, I still got hit. If you see the dongle go to the... I don't know why I'm calling it a dongle. But if you see it go to the top, you know, you want to... Oh, I did not mean to waste an extra healing thing. Oh well. So now I gotta dodge, because that thing went to the top. No, get out. Really, like, I'm getting greedy. Man, I've got a. I'm getting way too greedy. Alright, we need to be really patient from here on out. Stay away from the flames. We're not going to be able to self heal anymore, so we really need to get out so he does that and then we go in and oh gosh all right we're out of heals now we're in real trouble get away he is pretty low on health get away Get away. You gotta play it safe. This is a new move. This is his, uh... You know what? We'll start. Come on. 
Yeah! Woohoo! While hugging the edge of death here, we've got it. Holy crap! Woo! That was so close. Completely out of healing uh, injections. Completely out of the uh, energy, so we couldn't heal ourselves. That guy is a beast. Like I said, you know, like towards the end, we finally started exhibiting self control. We only we would dive in, get our one hit, and get out. If you get try to get multiple hits, the first time he'll just squash you and go straight down. And we fell for that a couple times, even though I knew better. Um, and then if you stay under there, he might do a fire thing. He might do his little spinning arms, which are avoidable. Um, so after he does the drops onto the ground and tries to squash you, then he's actually targetable. So, oh gosh. Now we'd have to be really careful because we have, like, we are on fumes here for health. Fumes, guys. All right, that's one way out. This is another way out. I have an idea where some of these might come out. I do not feel like we're in a good good shape to take that guy on. We're going to go down here and pick up this pile of rare crap. Oh, scrap. Same difference. As much as we're not in a position to take him on, I really want to know what's out there. But for now, we're going to go over to the lift here. Oh! So we just fell down somewhere. I didn't mean to. We finally found our little thief. It's probably the same culprit who's been hidden in the lab storerooms. She ended up dropping a purloined Biomaster in a hurry to get away. Looks like she was heading towards the old abandoned labs. I'll file a full report when I get back. Security can handle this one from here on out. Okay, we have another lift out here. Does this just take us back up? I'm assuming. Okay. So the thing I'm really itching to find now is a way back to uh, <laughs> refill our meds. Now this right here, again, I think this is going down further. So where are we? Nothing's attacked us yet. Outbound train station. Seems that maybe it's gonna let us out of here. Let's be honest. Over the last couple of decades, things haven't been too great. We know. We've seen the figures, and that's why we created Project Resolve. But with an ailing population, developmental problems, disability rising, and alarming great children, some would have you believe it's too late. At least that's what elements of the media would have you believe. Creo has you covered. Family daycare centers to full medical coverage. Your family is our family. The average workplace can be littered with hazards. But at Creo, we're proud to say we never had more than a <laughs> With the implementation of our rigs, we've made you stronger, faster, tougher. The rigors of the workplace won't even give you pause. And due to the integration of your neural interface into Creo's core system, our professional healthcare staff can monitor your well-being 24-7. If that doesn't make you sleep tight. 
I don't know what will. So this is the what the people are being fed to be part of this program. All right, so this is the way out. I am not ready to leave this area yet. I'm sorry I'm not. There are... There's that one pathway we've yet to explore. And if nothing else, I'll just go back there. But I also want to see what is over this way. So how do you get up there? Oh, you need a drone to get up there. So, the circulation tower area will be opened later by some kind of drone ability that I'm sure we haven't unlocked yet. You know, it's very interesting to me how... Can we get through here? Ooh, we can. Oh boy. Okay, so this is back to... Very good. We can make a mad dash and hope to make it. Ah, oh, we didn't make it, but that's okay. We can make it back here. Alright, we got our stuff back. And we killed another dude. And heck, we got another one right here to kill. Alright, before we go in, I just want to take a look in here. Um, new implants. Let's just see. New weapons to look at. This is a one-handed cutter. What we have right now does 51 damage. This one does 22. Low impact, high attack speed, high proficiency, and only plus 5%. You don't gain as much energy from using it, but it's faster and it gets more damage from that. The other option is this staff which you know uh, there's nothing super special about it but I'm guessing that this staff is the answer to that quest. You know what we're gonna go ahead and we'll farm a little bit more because we don't have enough for a full level quite yet without burning resources. Oh my gosh, I did not make him do that. And he just almost just jumped off for the heck of it. So I think this guy... Hey, shouldn't you be searching a stock? I think I have what you need. What if I told you? Usually saying that is a... So. Um, let's try this. All right then, let me introduce you to the Biomaster. Efficient against weeds and vermin, I hope. I owe you. It's nice to know chivalry isn't dead. So what's with the staff? I could ask you the same question. I guess sitting things up. I never liked those smelter bots. Always kept an eye on them. Even it's time to push that damn emergency stop and scrap them for good. Better get going now. And just as I was getting to know you. Uh, my plan is to level up that new weapon that we got since it's a one-hander and it's fast. Um, it doesn't yield as much energy, but perhaps you'll still get energy fast by f a, a bigger flurry of attacks. Um, hopefully overall it can yield more DPS. or So we'll give it a try. And if I have any extra, you know, and I can level something up, I will. Alright, so I just invested um, in one more level. I also upgraded our helm to 
do a little more protection for us. And um, we switched out the... Um, we took a little less health, like instead of having 166 max health, I'm right now at 136, which is not where I want to sit exactly, but it's important because we took the um, we took the mod that increases our stamina by 15, and having the extra ability to dash and to attack more, that's a very big deal, and it might very well often save us that extra bit. Um, I think we can be fine without the extra bit of health, and we leveled up to level 44, so we're not far off of um, we're not far off of being able to. Um, let's see, let's knock this guy down. Hopefully, his buddy isn't here to jump in. Nope, we are in a bad area though. All right, so we're gonna go back into where we fought the boss. So we're looking for the little, there it is, the lift. And now we can explore out the door where the guys are. Yep, we're going to take that arm if we can. Yay, three more tungsten alloys. I know the other thing that we wanted to do. I mentioned that we have the new weapon. We don't have the ability to upgrade it. It's already like in an upgraded form. So I wanted to take a look and see what this looked like. So this is really fast attacks, which helps you get in the most amount of attacks possible also helps you manage your stamina. We're going to try it, at least for a minute here. Yeah, that's... Oh, boy. Get out. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize I got hit. So the nice thing is that they're fast, but they do encourage you to really stay in the combat sometimes longer than you ought to. Uh, it's, you know, it's not pressuring, it's just, hey, I'm doing less damage, so I should use this, and all of a sudden you find that it wasn't the best idea. So I'm not sure if I like them more. I'm very used to the slower, higher damage one-hander that we have, but we will keep toying with it. Top back off here see who else is out here. We gotta get this guy after us. Okay, we know where we're at now. So now we've seen, we know we've seen this, and I feel a little more comfortable moving on to the next area. Because we know we've seen what this has to offer. 
I'll continue playing with these, uh, this fast weapon here. And it'll only grow stronger as our twin rigged proficiency goes up. You know, with our one handers, they're already kind of maxing out. Not maxing out, but it's just, it takes a long time to get some levels uh, from doing damage with it. Whereas with this, you get a little bit of uh, extra. So, outbound train station. All right. Why not? You've heard me say it again and again. Next stop, Resolve Biolabs, Blue Sky Station. Resolve Biolabs. So we're taking the train to our third area. Oh, sorry guys, I'm a little sleepy here. But we must press on. Or must we? Part of me wants to continue in the morning. There better be something back here for all this. Perhaps not. But it is not chaos. recommended it's that you leave anything, operations. Worse. I'm gonna try and make a break for one of the loading bays. Hopefully I can get out. Uh, best of luck, Doc. Alright, so we found our station there. Um, once again, I'm not giving you guys a lot of footage from the stations because of the, uh, the music that plays is copyrighted. And so... We don't want to deal with copyright claims. Okay, this is one shortcut. Here. Well, I just realized our video is getting on in time. We found a new area. And we can explore this out in our next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you found that last video really informative and entertaining with that boss. I feel like we have a really good strategy and it paid off. So, until next time... This is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com. Please subscribe to the channel, and we'll make sure to keep more of these videos coming your way. If you leave us a comment, we'll be sure to get back to you quick. And last of all, make sure to give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate the support. Until next time, I am out of here.